What's going on today? I was rudely interrupted by my wife. Don't tell her. But getting back, um, today we're going to talk about Gun Control Stone, which I met via WAC, via PL on PS3. Um, did a video talking about his gun control and his childhood and things like that. I'm going to do two different things. I have time. I'm going to talk about both. I want to, how I was raised with guns slash how I feel. I'm going to tell you a little bit about right now. How I feel about guns is that I do feel that we should be able to bear arms. We should be able to have guns all the time if you live in america that's just how i feel um i do also in the same regard i do feel that there should be so many guns per household unless you have some sort of you have a museum or you have some sort of license or you go to a class like there should be different levels of class that's how i feel about it i'll maybe talk a little bit more towards the end but i'm going to get to my childhood and my guns and things like that a little bit different from stone is that i was always raised <clears throat> with guns um, on the weekends, I went and when I was eight, I got my first BB gun. Um, it was a little 12 shot Miss Daisy where you loaded the BBs on the top. It was only about, I don't know, 16 inches. It was about a foot and a half. No, two, it was about two foot long, maybe. It's been a while, honestly. I'm 32, I'm gonna be 32 this year. So, and I was eight. So, yes, I'm old. And then when I, you know, as I progress, I've got a pellet gun, I got a, a Benjamin, which is more powerful basically a uh, pellet gun when i was 12 and i was about 13 14 i got a 410 which is basically like a mini shotgun it's like the smaller version of shotgun i I've, my grandpa had variations of shotgun he had a fifth uh, 18 gauge 20 gauge 10 gauge things like that. i mean i've shot a i've shot my share of guns in my lifetime when i was younger and and one thing i actually really enjoy i do feel that guns are a recreation i do feel that and also protection um it is a pastime it is a hobby things like that but let me tell you a few things about when i was younger uh, me and my cousin um god rest his soul he died when he was 12 but we were like uh, 11 and we used to bird hunt all the time and i tell this story to my friend you know my, my inner inner circle i'm just messing but we bird hunt we would actually kill robins and I, you know of course it was so long ago hopefully i can't go to jail for that right because robins are a state bird but in louisiana they are not and this is kind of, it's really weird because I didn't really look at it as being gross or being, we used to eat them. If we killed something, we ate it. Um, it just depends. Like we killed a snake, we ate it. I mean, there's certain things you don't eat. Like you don't eat uh, certain, you know, like certain parts of the alligator you just don't eat. Things like that. You, there's certain things you don't eat. We used to bird hunt all the time. And I never forget, we were, my grandma's van was in the parking lot and we, we both, I lined up by a tree and he lined up by the end of the van and we actually shot the bird a bird at the same time and we were just so pumped up we used to we used to we actually and then we were on our way home to finish you know we used to come and we used to have a bag and we used to fill we used to kill 12 birds go in the morning kill 12 birds come back and we cleaned them if we cleaned them she cooked them and it, it's <laughs> it's really crazy because i would tell that story to where i live now and they're like man i can't believe you ate birds like bird <laughs> you know but what's the difference you know i mean it, it, it chicken you know there's all types of birds that you could eat so and as I've got older, I definitely look back, and I'm glad that I had that. I'm glad that I was trusted enough to be able to use guns in a regard of that, you know, to be able to be trusted with using guns. I mean, I literally went out on my own, you know, before I was even a teenager with something that not, it didn't, it couldn't kill you, but it could hurt you. I mean, it could, it could, you know, shoot yourself in the head and your brain damage. I mean, it, it, it is something that could almost kill you. And I was trusted at a young age. And, you know, I always respected it. I always made sure I, you know, looked at it thoroughly, made sure, you know, you always, you know, you know, just like when you're climbing through fences and things, you put it in front, you know, you put it on the ground and get away, you know, all kind of little things like that. And one thing I could tell people is you always want to be cautious. You always want to know that that's the way it is because I've shot guns all my life. Now here lately, I've shot a lot of pistols. I love going to gun shows. Um, the PX4 Storm is probably my favorite pistol. I wish I could have that. Uh, just to let you guys know, I wish I had. A, I could have put a picture on the screen. Damn it! I actually got to see the KSG in person. I went to the gun show and it, it was physically there. Um, I, if I had internet like I used to have on my phone, I would have tweeted it out right then and there. But it was so awesome to see that gun in person. And uh, so that's the question I have for you guys: What do you think of gun control? And what is your favorite gun? that you have actually physically got to shoot. Um, I went back to Louisiana, I got to shoot with a, 
his general named Kurt, which is my brother-in-law. But uh, I got to shoot. He got a dragon off, and it was really, really cool. We got to shoot that. We got to shoot a 22, like a it's a MP5 2022. That was really cool. And, and, and it's one of those things where, yeah, and, and if you live in the city and things like that, you expect it. You know, you it's different. You know, there's different laws everywhere. It's really, really crazy. But I still feel that you should have a right. To have a gun in your house and that's and, and that's one of those things that i don't know it's a very finicky line it's a very crazy thing because same thing with self-defense you know uh, that's a whole different video for a whole different time that probably be the next thing i talk about self-defense is just something a whole nother level so but gun control it's interesting it's a very interesting topic as it comes to an end here hopefully you guys like my little story go check out mr stone post 34, I believe it is. I apologize, Stone, if I got that wrong, but I will uh, put his name up on the screen and a link it in the description. And like I always say, my name is Bill Keys, and you guys out there have a great and wonderful day. Like the video. <laughs> like the video. That's right. Tell him.